Hi, I'm Arnold Friedman from Space Systems L'Oreal. I'm the Senior Vice President of Marketing and Sales. Well, I think governments around the world look for opportunities to get their important uh, sensors and payloads up in space. And commercial satellites, the 20 commercial satellites approximately launch every year. So it gives them an opportunity to get on a commercial satellite, get up to orbit in a very scheduled deterministic manner because those satellites pretty routinely are two to three years from uh, start to launch. And also it's more economical for them because they don't have to build a dedicated satellite and get a dedicated launch vehicle. They share those costs. And of course, we know the commercial satellite industry these days is extremely uh, highly reliable. We're talking about 99.999 availability just minutes out per year. So it's a very reliable platform to put government hosted payloads. We typically build a satellite in about two to three years, depending on the complexity. Our average is probably around 28 months. So generally, by the time we start the contract, we want to be sure that the sensor can be delivered within 14 to 18 months after that. So generally, we start the process, assuming it's a, well, a reasonably mature sensor, we would start the process in the, about 4 to 12 months where we try to nail down all the sensor interfaces, the contractual interfaces, and other things. It's, it's usually not a technical issue. Generally, we fly lots of hosted payloads. And it isn't the technology or the programmatics so much, it's just getting the final contractual details done and, and working through the government acquisition processes. Yeah, we're, we're very happy to participate on this alliance, which includes all the major manufacturers and some operators. And, and it, what it's trying to do is bring clarity, to have a forum to discuss common issues and how to procure a hosted payload, to make it straightforward and to address the issues well in advance. And so we're excited about the potential of it, we're excited about the government interaction, uh, working with it, and we look at this as a, another path to help uh, make, get, make this a viable option for uh, government uh, posted payloads when it makes sense. So on, on future plans, we're looking at a variety of hosted payloads uh, in a lot of different areas from comm to sensors and even more uh, situations where the hosted payload is actually the dominant mission on the satellites. And we find that, uh, again, uh, most of the issues are not technical or programmatic. We're good at that and the industry is very good at that. And we're just working through more of the acquisitions process to get there. So we look at actually as we look forward to more successful flights like our IRIS, like other uh, manufacturers are launching hosted payloads and we feel like that will bring more momentum and comfort in moving forward on these uh, hosted payload opportunities when, and when again they make sense for the U.S. government.